What's up you wild tigers? Today's hero is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, Obi-Wan Kenobi is probably one of the best Jedi's ever. Ever of all time. At least that's my opinion. I know that's my friend Michael's opinion. But there's a lot to go to it. First, let's just state why he was the best. The Jedi Knight, at the young, he killed a Sith at the youngest age and became a Jedi Knight. He trained the Anakin Skywalker, the most powerful, one of the most powerful Jedi in the world. And he beat him in a duel on Mustafar. And he took him down. And even later in life, he destroyed Darth Maul with the fastest duel I've ever seen. And Obi-Wan has always been there with the clever comments and the clever jokes. And, the, and he's always refused the dark side. One of Obi-Wan's greatest quotes is about like turning to the dark side and the power of it. He says, I'll never turn to the dark side. It takes strength to resist this power, and you become even more powerful on the opposite side of the side of the good light side. You're weak and scared, and that's why you want the dark side. You need that power. Obi-Wan says, You don't need anger, hate, and rage, and guilt, and selfless acts to become this almighty, powerful being. Obi-Wan is the truest. Jedi that there ever was. He's a man who follows the Jedi code and will do anything for the good. The good of the world. And he'll even exile himself to save the Chosen One. The one who will bring balance to the Force. He will do what is necessary. Obi-Wan Kenobi throughout the Clone Wars has been a very cunning and smart general. He's always been there to give lessons to Anakin Skywalker. And he's always there to help people around him and need his help the most. Obi-Wan Kenobi is also probably one of the most exciting and trollish people ever. I love smart people or people who are intelligent and very good so they can make sarcastic comments because they're just that good. They're just great like that. And I love how he likes things civilized. He's like, I was civilized. He's just a civilized man, man of code, of ethics, of honor, rules, of values. Doesn't just throw away his life into some extreme emotional pleasure or, or desires. Or He chooses the way of the sword, the way of the Jedi, the lightsaber. And as I watch Obi-Wan Kenobi, it reminds me of how I need to be. And is the, the way of the warrior. I can't give in to temptations or desires or weakness or, or you must continue going in the path of, of openness and enlightenment and, and, and love and, and being wise and following your morals and your principles and standing up for democracy as he says <laughs> oh. one of my favorite videos of Obi-Wan is when he single-handedly drops down on General, General Grievous well, even with so many droids and he just says hello there and just takes them all out just takes them out you, you, you can't I mean how amazing is that this man said had no fear he goes there and says bring it I got the force on my side Obi-Wan Kenobi is an inspiration to me for just showing you what a good person is just a general good person I think these days we lose principles and morals and and no matter how much evil or how much darkness there is in this world, we can't let that stop who we are. We, we must continue to fight for what we believe in, for good, for light, for hope. We must never stop. Never. I think that's another great thing about Obi-Wan Kobe. He never gives up. He never gives up. He's always going. He's always fighting. He's always learning. He's always training. And in the, at the end, he says, he becomes one with the Force and becomes a Force ghost. And even with Luke, he never stops trying to train and never starts to guide him and never stops trying to stop evil in the world. And in the book adaption, Obi-Wan talks to Anakin Skywalker and says, it's not too late. You could be a Force ghost too. The world could be a better place. Because Obi-Wan can forgive and forget and then and just focus on doing what is right. My favorite 
part about Obi-Wan Kenobi's character is that he is a selfless person. He always gives for other people. In episode 4, New Hope, he dies for Luke Skywalker, for the distraction, for the, the ability to transcend, become the Force, to always be there for Luke. This is not his fight. This is Luke's fight. He won many millenniums ago. And when Darth Vader says the circle is complete, now the, the student now becomes the master. And Obi Wan replies, "I'm gonna butcher it in a way. It's in my own words." He replies, saying that you don't understand, Darth. I am more powerful than you can ever imagine. And that's when he, you know, Darth Vader kills him and he disappears. That's not supposed to happen, but it's because Obi Wan knows and understands the Force and realizes what true power is. It's not rage. It's not hate. It's just good wisdom meditation you can transcend to an infinite being and become more powerful than the world will you ever know my great thing about Obi-Wan Kenobi is he is always there when somebody needs him and he's always got that joke so when Anakin Padme came to save him he was like oh well, good job saving me he didn't really save him but he's He's there, he, Luke Skywalker needed him, and with the droids and the stuff, and they were like, oh no, some troopers, and he was like, these are not the droids you're looking for. But one's just like, I'm a boss, come at me, bro. And Obi-Wan cares about the people around him, the, the girl in the Clone Wars, I don't know her name, but Obi-Wan loved her. And even though you're not supposed to love, he, he couldn't, he didn't allow it, but he loved her, and she loved him, and, and the loss of her destroys him. But, again, he... I think there's a quote in the show again where he says to Anakin is freaking out about Naboo being destroyed and people could die and Obi Wan's and Anakin says why aren't you freaking out and Obi Wan says I'm better at hiding than you are. That's that's the power of, of the Jedi. It's not about letting your emotions not happen. It's about suppressing them and saying we I understand how I feel but we gotta get the job done so that way we don't have any worse emotions so that nobody else gets hurt. And so Obi Wan just he's. He's that one Jedi that just, he's always conflicted because he loves Anakin, but he made the Jedi code and, and then the council and he goes back and forth. But Obi-Wan goes, no, this is, this is what's good in the world. This is my, my morals, my values. This is life. And no matter, I'm not going to compromise anything so that I can gain. It's, he gives so much and he learns so much and he's so powerful. And he's just a hero hero to, to the world. He helped train Luke Skywalker, who then stopped Darth Vader, who then Darth Vader stopped the Emperor, and then ended a war that was going on forever. For at least, there was peace now in, in the uh, universe. Obi-Wan Kenobi will always be a hero in my heart. Now, these hero videos, they, they just take the characters we love and show us that we can be them, we can be selfless, we can be smart, we can be wise, we can be sarcastic, we can be comical. We can be the best versions of ourselves so that we can help the world. And we can learn that giving into the ultimate power isn't ultimate power, it's being weak. Ultimate power is when you let go of power. When you transcend time and power, infinite wisdom. And all you say is, this is all I need. Obi-Wan Kenobi became Bane Kenobi and, and just chilled in his life in Tatooine watch, as a watchful protector. He just knew how it had to be done. And imagine living your life in exile in hope that the boy will one day become the Jedi who will take down the Sith. And he's gone through so much, you know, this is Padawan turns to the dark side. He can't kill him. And Yoda says, You're, the boy you trained is no longer there. Darth Vader is. And Obi-Wan does not want to fight him. He does so much to say, I don't want to fight. I, I don't want to kill him. He can't. Obi-Wan cares too much. You can say that people, the Jedi don't have emotions, but I believe they have more emotions than you can imagine. And they just, they just, you, you, you can feel it in the way he talks, the way he speaks. And he says, you were supposed to be, you were the chosen one. You're supposed to bring balance, not end it. Obi-Wan has more heart than anyone else 
in that universe, in that world. Just remember, heroes come in different shapes, sizes, personalities, ideals. Heroes like Obi Wan are a beacon of hope because they're just pure good. They just they just shine light on the world that, that nobody thought could be possible. So sometimes we just gotta be Obi Wan's in our world, choose the path, the lightsaber, and the Jedi way. Just be a good, fun, sarcastic, loving, wise, and follow the code man. Done.